Father. Please. Please say something. Diana. What? What is it? You're on my hand. Stay calm, I'll dig you out. <clears throat> Your harmonizer's toast, but I gave you mine. There's not much T-energy to draw on Did here. it work? Are they safe? I think so. Okay, then gave them cover. If they stick to the plan, they should be miles deep before another bridge is through. Good, good. You need to be gone when they do. Fat chance, old man. You're my only family, and I'm not... Leaving you in here. Damn it, we can't even move this thing. You're as stubborn as your grandmother. This is all my fault. I just listened to you. No, you were right. I deserved every word. No, just forget about that, please. It doesn't matter. It does. You've been keeping secrets so long. It's hard to stop. There are things you have a right to know. We'll have time later. <laughs> stop. Come on. Damn it. Damn. You know, back on Earth, my father believed you had to confess your sins, if you want to be forgiven. He never got the chance, but maybe this is mine. The Earth was a troubled place when I left it. I was 32 when they recruited me, a bold and lucrative opportunity to be part of an expedition to an unexplored world. Fifty years ago now. Fifty years of living with the consequences of my choices. Fifty years since I damned us all. Damn, it's cold. How long you reckon before they come for us? Depends on how off course we were blown by the storm. However, it appears the transponder guiding our welcoming party to this location was lost in the crash. Without that, our odds of survival are remote. I suggest we find it. Stay here while I track it down. I don't think we're alone out here.
transponder. place you look. For the save, I owe you one. Oui, oui, le roi, c'est moi. <laughs> Time enough for that later. Head back to the supply drop and try not to get stepped on, huh? Kovac, Dr. Kendrick Kovac. Don't call me Kenny. Hey, the name's Hutchings. Friendly Frenchman's LaRoche. So, you're not packing a long-range firearm, are you? Not on me. But somewhere in that ship, I got a 30 6 old family heirloom. No idea where it's packed. Got my pistol, though. Good enough. Give me a second. I'm going to retire to the relative safety of the interior. Good luck up here. Please, please, 
kill them. So this is what the recruiter meant by non-aggressive indigenous creatures. <laughs> oh, buddy, you're gonna learn to take things Navic tells you with a grain of salt. In fact, some days you might need a bucket of the stuff. You sound like Diaz. Hey, say what you will. She raised some valid questions. Yeah, sure, sure. You mean she blabbed out insane conspiracy theories every time you're trying to drink in peace? Why even work for a company if you accuse it of such things? Who's this Diaz? Sounds like a character. She's the one you're replacing. A contractor like you and I. Until she disappeared. Man, this supply drop couldn't have come sooner. We, the very stale. And also the pornography. I bet Braddock's gone. Oh, son of a bitch! No, I made it in one piece somehow. What now? Your environment suit is within umbilical range of my rig. You should be seeing extra tactical readouts. Minima, radar, loadout details, as long as you stay close to the rig. You may come home. Good deal. Use your radar to see advancing enemies. Look now! Hey, Zubi, pick up the glowing orange blood the animals leave behind. You will need it for later. It's fine. See the problem. Give me a second. Newbie, know how to repair? First, you have to find the proper repair frequency. Yeah, thanks, boss. I know what I'm doing here. Do job, Huh? Okay, you're all set. Heads up, you got incoming. friend on this base. We all miss Diaz. But I tried to warn you, Nevik would never use that as an excuse until they started seeing results. It's not about Jeanette. You know it's not. Oh, so you're still blaming me, though. I never said that. You didn't have to. You just checked out. They're looking for something that doesn't exist. I'm directing my efforts where the science leads. That used to matter to you. It still does, Bonnie, but this isn't my call. Nevik is footing the bill for this operation. They insisted. And that's it. Not a peep from you. Not a... 
It's only because of me that you still even have a job here. Oh, yes, a job. I'm sorry to... Him. Uh, Dr. Kovach. I see you made it in one piece. Yes, it's been an eventful morning. Phil Braddock, I presume? Mm -hmm. Dr. Roman? Been some time. Feels like yesterday, Kenny. You'll excuse me. Okay. And you must be Jim Payton. You really stepped up out there, huh? You must have a million questions. I uh, hope you don't mind being thrown in at the deep end. Know, sir, I'm here to work. All I need to know is how a man can earn some credits around here. <laughs> Thermal energy. That's the name of the game. Acred blood? It's to tell you, boss, we just spilled gallons of the stuff. Oh, it's well more than that. Flows through everything on EDN3. Creatures, tectonics, all the way down to the core. That's what makes life possible in a climate like this. No other substance like it in the universe. And Nevik believes this can solve the energy crisis on Earth. Oh, I believe it can. We're here to study it. Find a way to make it viable, cost-effective for harvest and export. We are leaving no angle unexplored. Very good. Science is always best, without boundaries. Pete and I got a lot of contracts that'll keep you busy. Construction repairs on the base, but uh, if you want to go home a rich man, you'll take on that hazard pay. Keep us supplied with this stuff. Yes, sir. Just point me to my rig. Peyton, I can't recommend strongly enough that you visit the Quartermaster and get yourself a good hunting knife. You've seen how up close and personal the acrid can get. But first you want to head down to the service pit and inquire with our lead tech, Gail, as to the status of your rig. Welcome aboard, Jim. Uh, Doctor, if you'll stay and chat. Sorry you had to see that. You know Bonnie can have a flair for the dramatic. Is that what that was? I assumed it was sarcasm. Usually she just yells at me. Yeah, well, circumstances are a little different now. I'm sure she'll be a cooperative and productive member of your team. Uh, just a second, Doctor. Jay, any word from LaRoche? Not yet, sir. He's not responding to any of our calls. All right, keep me posted. Actual, this is Campbell. I'm in distribution with Ermolev. The East Block pipes are frozen over again. Damn it. We just thawed those. All right, get a Gabi over there with the space heaters. No, that's the problem, sir. He's already thawing condensers at Coronas. Should I pull him off of that? Mm, no, no. Okay, look, uh, make an announcement. Let everyone know we're down to a trickle for now. But uh, contact Gabi and tell him to hurry up. You got it? Roger that. Campbell out. Peyton, what are you standing around for? Take that elevator down to see Gale and get yourself squared away.
I know everyone's excited about the supply drop, but no crowding this time. I see anyone near the inventory out of turn. I'm docking his next paycheck for time lost. Hello? Anybody home? Must be the new Jeanette. I guess. Call me Jim. Jim, how's Santa? Welcome to EDN3, Jim. The E stands for extreme. Still working on the rest. That's great, kid. You want to point me in the direction of your boss? Oh, uh, Mr. Braddock? I think you'd have seen him already, but yeah. No, I mean the lead tech for this bay. I think they said her name was Gail. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. That's kind of me. I know, I know, I hear it all the time, girl's name, shouldn't I be off looking for a date for junior prom? Dude, I understand you're concerned. Don't worry about a thing. I am totally getting college credit for this gig. I'm kidding, I'm, I'm kidding. Not in the mood, I read you. Listen, kid, Gail, how about we do the get to know you while we work on putting my rig together? Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, are you serious? Uh, yeah, it was shipped ahead in pieces. <laughs> now that I'm here, we can build it. Um, the thing is, I kind of put it together last week. Again. It's a nice solid rig you got. Pretty intuitive design. It was no trouble. I had fun with it, really. All the diagnostics checked out. In fact, I just got done with the finishing touches. What finishing touches? Threw on some spring-loaded Kerner retractors. Jeanette said they always came in handy when the heat was on, which happens more often than you'd think on an ice planet. Get it? <laughs> ice planet? Because the heat... Kid... Went... Listen to me and listen close. I got three things in the world. My wife, my son, and this rig. Guess which one I'm counting on to take care of the other two. You follow? That is my whole nest egg. I built it myself. I know every gear, every circuit, and I can't have her breaking down on me because some intern needed to show off. Can I just say two quick things? Please. Okay, first... You can't really say in the world anymore, because you're on another planet. Sorry, just pet peeve. And? And secondly? Okay, it's your show, Jim. I'm just here to help out. Give it a test drive whenever you feel like it, and if it ain't ship shape, break it all down by morning. Deal? I promise you won't be sorry. Let go of my hand. Okay. Your rig's up in your bay. I'll meet you up there whenever you wander up. Take your time. Jim Payton, please report to the quartermaster in the basement level. Jim Payton to the quartermaster. Dear Diary, I know it's early, but I was seized this morning by the divine spirit of artistic creation. I was at breakfast, and Colbeck had come up with these griddle cakes made out of vital weed gluten or something, and it got me thinking about the corn my folks used to grow when they still had their farm on Olympus One. And I was saying how I couldn't have been more than ten, but I built this thing called a cornipole. But it was really more of a slingshot, and then I realized nobody was at the table anymore, so I came out here and I installed some curtain retractors on the new guy's rig. It's like a human cornipole, see? Except, you know, kind of not. Hope you don't mind. I should get some coffee. Or sleep. Yeah, sleep's good. Yeah, coffee's better. I heard the whole hangar John about how we were getting a fresh pair of faces around here. I'm the quartermaster, name's Bowers, but most people call me Birdie. You make an honest dollar, you come spend it here, eh? All right, pal, take your time eyeballing the wares. I'll stay out of your hair. Quality hunting knife. Top of the line for up-close protection. Comes with a lifetime guarantee and unlimited free sharpening. Not that you'll need it.
Thanks, Jim. You keep fighting a good fight. Yeah, nice meeting you, Birdie. allies pulled out of a national unity government today due to fears that the militant Crimson Unity Party would claim remaining energy reserves. Crimson Unity was instrumental in the government's collapse when its well-equipped militiamen overran much of the country in September, forcing the president to cede to a severely crippled national unity government. With the energy crisis firmly rooted and little hope of resolution, observers fear that this latest development will cause a domino effect across the region, plunging the entire continent into turmoil. For IBR, this is Suzanne Lee. You looking for something specific? Now that's a sweet one. Pump action, multi-shot capacity, authentic wooden stock. She's ideal for your close quarters combat. See you around.